We're going to talk about Canva. We're also going to talk about some other design tools. And like this title says, this is graphic design solutions to brand your business. Okay. With me. All right. So let's move on. Here we go. Uh, this is a great quote. I wanted to share it with you. Milton Glaser is one of my heroes when it comes to graphic design. It says there are three responses to a piece of design. Yes, no, and wow. Wow's the one that I aim for. And I'm sure when you guys are designing, because your designs are going to be for you and your business, that you want to make sure that wow is what the, the response that you are getting from people when you share it with other people. So here's what we're going to do then. We're going to look at tools that are available online to help you design any of your projects. Okay. So here's the thing that you see there, and I've got it. Marketingagency.com. And that's the reality of it, folks, is that as agents, as real estate agents that, and, I'm, and I know you probably wouldn't even be on this call if you didn't realize the truth of this, but that's that you are your own marketing agency. And the better you can get at this stuff, the more, uh, and, and it's not like you have to be an expert graphic designer. And that's why I want to introduce you to a lot of these tools. These are tools that will make you look like an expert, even though you don't necessarily have to be. Okay. And that's kind of the concept behind it um, is to be able to, to have some tools, to have the ability to go to the places that are going to help you put together the things that you need to, so that they look right, so that they're sized properly, so that all of those features that make it attractive are going to work. Because let's really get down to the brass knuckles of this, folks. And that is design is such an important part of how we communicate in today's environment. Uh, marketing so much has become pictures, video, colors, all of those things. And it really is um, about holding people's attention. And, and then the more that you can get you know, creative with this stuff, the more that you can get comfortable with these things, the better your designs are, the more that you're going to be able to communicate what you need to communicate. Okay. It's not a black and white world, folks. And I know most of you recognize that. So we're, first of all, what we are going to do is we're going to be starting with, in this presentation, canva.com. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, first of all, I've got a couple of slides that I want to show you before I actually switch our sharing our screen share and take it to the internet where I'm actually going to go right on Canva, right on my account and show you some of the tools that are available. First of all, what Canva is, canva.com. And if you haven't written that down, I'd write that down quickly so you know how to get there if you haven't been there already. Um, this is a place for you to design a, or, or to, capture, first of all, a free account, okay? You can get an account that's free. We're gonna get into some more details here in just a second on that part of it. But literally what this is, is you can design anything and you can publish anywhere. You can publish from this particular site. You can take it right to your Instagram page, right to your Facebook page. You can take it and, and like this presentation that you're looking at now, you guys, this is something that I designed in, in Canva on Canva and downloaded it as a Microsoft PowerPoint. So it's amazing the tools that are available in this space, okay? So um, anyway, let's move on. You can design presentations, you can de design social media graphics and more with thousands of beautiful layouts. There's templates, there's pictures, there's all kinds of things. This just gives you a couple of them and we're gonna go into more details on that here in a second, you guys, but this, it really is a powerful tool. First of all, one of the things that I do wanna tell you as we're getting into this is to recognize, number one, I, I don't get paid to sell this. I really don't. Even though this is kind of my own gush fest about this thing and the, the excitement that I have about this particular tool, but it's because it really is a powerful design tool. Okay. Canva grows your brand. So here's the thing that I wanted to tell you though. First of all, you, there is a free version available. What you're going to see is you're going to see I'm on pro. I'm on that, that, that middle one there. Um, I pay for it because I found, and, and quite honestly, guys, I've been using this tool for over six years now. And, and it really is a powerful design tool. Um, and it's easy, and, and for the most part, it really is pretty easy to use. It's one of those things like any design thing. The more that you dig into it, the more you click the buttons, the more you're going to learn and the more powerful it's going to be for you. But the, literally the price is, and that, that, that 
per year per month and it's billed monthly okay so but there are some features and some tools that are available on the paid version and i'll kind of as we go through this description you guys i'll try to make sure that i distinguish between the two so that you know this is paid this is not um but the bottom line is there's lots of things i didn't get a paid version of canva until probably maybe 18 months probably it was maybe it's been two years um two years ago that i actually started paying for canva the, the paid version because the free one had so much available to it it's unbelievable and they're constantly upgrading um, what's available there. So anyway, um, and it really is, this just gives you a quick snapshot, millions of images, photo filters. Okay, there's filters that you can use to change the editing of the, the particular photographs that you use, free icons and images, there's and shapes, uh, hundreds of fonts, there's tons of, of stuff on there. So let's go ahead and dive into this, you guys. So I'm going to change my sharing and I'm going to switch it over to uh, the internet and go right on. I want to move some of these pieces out of the way. So we are on Canva, okay? Now, um, and this is after you've signed in. We're not going to go into the sign in part. You guys can figure that part out when you get on there and create create one. By the way, by show of hands, how many of you have already got? Why don't you go ahead and hit the little raise a hand thing? But if tell if you could just let us know. Um, let's let me know who how many of you actually have Canva accounts. If you guys could give me a quick heads up, say yes raise your hand that would be awesome just to let us know who's who actually out there is, is using this already um, okay so let's go ahead and move on with this you guys first of all in this space the thing that you can do the first thing that you're gonna do is create a design now you can like it says here you can design anything before I move off of this particular page I want to scroll through and this kind of gives you you can design it gives you the different ones it has flyers Instagram posts posters, Facebook posts, social media, logos, you can create a logo in there, presentations, Facebook covers, infographics, you can kind of see Instagram stories. So this is set up so that if you're doing an Instagram story, if you guys are using Instagram, um, that you can see um, it, it basically designs it. And, and the thing that's nice about it, you guys, is it does design it based on the size that you need. Okay, so YouTube thumbnails, brochures, business cards, Pinterest, email headers, t-shirts. I mean, it's amazing the stuff that you can design in this space. Okay, so, um, and let's just, we'll go on and on there. CD covers, menus, book covers, there's all kinds of different things you can do in there. Okay, so, and I wanted to give you kind of a quick idea, some of the things that I've actually been able to do in there. This is literally just to kind of scroll through. I mean, I've got tons and tons of stuff. You can see some of the stuff is personal. Some of it is from websites that's that I've built where I've created, I've done images in there. The other thing that's kind of cool about this, you guys, that I will show you. Let me see if I had one that I pulled up recently that I can give you a quick idea. Um, but you can actually do little animated things that are like videos. Uh, I want to find, I wanted to find one of those for you real quickly here. I thought I had it pulled up. But I'm going to get to it. Um, but yeah, you can actually create things that are animated videos. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and move on with this, you guys. Um, oh, Ivy, is what you're showing under pro or free? This is what I'm showing you. This is all stuff that has been designed. The designs are some of them are, are done in free, some of them are done in the in the pro. What you're looking at is pro though. And quite honestly, you guys, and I'll, we're gonna get into it. Literally the biggest difference between what's paid, uh, the paid version and the free version is there's lots more images that are available to you for free, okay? Um, the other thing is, is there's, there's a lot more templates. So there's a lot more graphic tools that you have available to you. There's, there's a couple of tools as well, a resize feature that I'm going to show you here in a second. That's kind of neat where, and literally the, the, the idea behind it is like what you can see here, I'll show you, this is gaining confidence on camera. For those of you that were, that were joined me for that session we did last, um, last week on video marketing, um, the one to your right is the presentation. Okay, now what I was able to do is I was able to redesign it and fit it to a format that would be this one to the left video marketing is the YouTube thumbnail. So in all of those situations, I'm going to go ahead and take a presentation and resize it, the, the first page of it 
to a YouTube thumbnail. So that, that makes it real quick, real simple. It's it, then you have consistency with the design and that's literally what it is. But I'll, but I'll show you how, I don't want to make this too long. You guys, this is, this is really kind of a glance through this. So, you know, some of the tools that are available, but I did want to show you some of the ways that you can do those things. But re, the resize feature is what I'm talking about. That's not available on the free version. It is available on the pro version. Okay. The other thing is, is that um, I have the ability, if I have a font that I'm using for a particular client um, that I've downloaded and I have it in, in my web designer stuff and I need to use it for other things that I'm creating for that client, I can download that font into, if, if Canva doesn't have something that is exactly like that, or at least similar, that I can't use, then I can download the font into Canva, into my my account, and it keeps it, maintains it, I have it, it's available there. So that's one of the other features about uh, the paid version that's not available on the, uh, the, the, um, the free one. And one of the other features that I use quite frequently, you guys, is for those of you that understand the difference between a JPEG um, and a, PG, a PNG, um, the big difference really is PNGs are a higher quality image that can be resized. And the other thing is, is that uh, they are, they can, they can have transparent backgrounds. Okay. So that's the thing that one of the other features that is that you can download a PNG image from Canva or you can download whatever you've created as a PNG image, but you can't have a trans, you can't create it with the transparent background. Whereas, with the paid version, you can. So that, that just real quickly, you guys, that kind of sums up some of the main tools that uh, make the paid and the free version um, different. But they're, like I said, the free version, I would make sure you maximize this thing to use it as much as you can and and get as much out of the free version as you can, because I did. And it, it absolutely, I've created thousands and thousands of images in here and tools, things that I've used for um, a lot of my clients, okay? So anyway, um, so those are all your designs. It keeps them stored. So unless you eliminate them, um, you know, it's gonna keep them. But if you do need to eliminate them, you can do that. See, like for instance, this one right here, I want to move this to trash. I won't do it right now, but I actually I will. But this that isn't the the presentation that um, didn't make it <laughs> this morning. So, but yeah, you can you can if you don't eliminate it, it's going to stay there forever. That's always going to be on your account when you get into it. Okay. The next thing I'll, I will show you as we go down the line here is we're going to look at templates that are available. Okay, literally what you can do then you can go into and this gives you the opportunity to browse by category. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, um, I'll print things, logo, presentations, flyers. So whether it's internet related stuff or it's any, any kind of social media graphics, uh, photo collages, postcards, as you can see, there's tons and tons of these different categories of them. Then as you scroll down here, you can see like these are all templates that are poster templates. Okay. So um, these are logo templates. These are presentation templates. So literally the, the templates and what these are is they're, they're a starting point. And the thing is, you guys, is most often what I've found is I will go when I get ready to design something, I'm going to start with a template. Okay. And go from there. Th then what I'm able to do is take that template, redesign it, change some of the colors, change the fonts, ch and change the text. So but that's literally what I'm doing in most of these cases. But you can see here as I kind of scroll through all the different types of templates that there are available. Okay. Um, the other thing then is there's also tons of photographs in there. We're going to get into that here in a moment. Okay. So you can see here that there are lots and lots of different images that are available on Canva. Um, unbelievable the stuff that is available through here, you guys. So um, now let's go back to this because what I want to do is I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to create a design. And I wanted to show you real quickly here. Um, when you look at different things like a presentation, um, there are two different sizes of presentations. There's a, the one that you're looking at, the presentation that we've been doing, you guys, is, is a four by three. The other one is a 16 by nine. So it's a wider presentation, but both of those are on PowerPoint. You guys, if you've done much on PowerPoint, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Right. So that's one of the tools that it, that it has. Um, but 
The other thing that this that this does in here, you guys, is you can see as you go through and pick something out, any one of these, and what this does is it sizes it appropriately to whatever that particular image is. For instance, if what you wanna do is change your Facebook cover, let's go ahead and do that real quickly here, you guys. What this is gonna give you is the exact size that Facebook recommends when you are doing your Facebook cover image, okay? So there's all different ways that, and each one of those, like for instance, on social media, um, if you take that Facebook cover image and try to change it to, to Twitter or Instagram, sometimes it's not gonna fit properly, okay? Um, so what you need to be able to do is change, resize it, okay, to those uh, specific places. But the good part about what Canva is able to do is it's able to take any one of these, you guys, and it gives the exact measurements based on what that social media platform requires in order for it to look right, okay? So that's one of the things that this does with your, um, with the sizing. Now, for instance, if you're designing something that has a um, custom dimensions, for instance, if you're designing a specific piece that, um, you know, a card or whatever it is, something where the, uh, it requires custom dimensions, you can go in and create custom dimensions. And you can do those custom dimensions in pixels. You can do them in inches. You can do them in millimeters. You can do them in centimeters. So any one of those. So you can take that thing and create whatever. And then Canva will give you the, the space that's going to help you design within that particular environment. OK, so um, let's go ahead. Oh, this, oh, you know what? I'm sorry, I hit that and I, and I really should show you that. This is one other piece, you guys, that is such a powerful thing that Canva does is it actually has, this is Canva in their, this is their design school. So this is when you first get in here and you wanna get comfortable with how this thing works, this gives you the tools. These are the, the video tutorials that will help you walk through exactly how to do all of the different things that you can do in Canva. And it's such, they've got great stuff. They're easy to follow. Uh, and Canva really is. It's, it's, a, it's, like I said, especially with this kind of help, you can get, um, you really can. It, it'll speed up your learning curve on Canva quite a bit. So I would absolutely take advantage of, let's go back to it so you know where I'm looking, on the design school. Okay. So the other thing too is this also gives an opportunity to create a team um, this is, and you know what, I have to apologize. I, I'm pretty certain that you can do this without having the paid version, but creating a team, literally what it is, is this, if you have several people that need to be involved in the design, um, and, or, or you need to share it with somebody who's going to tweak it or change it or put some different text in there, whatever it is, literally you can create a team in there. And what that does is that allows you with plugging in an email address in there, uh, the opportunity to share those files with other people. Cindy and I have done that quite a bit with different different designs that we've been working on together. Um, and, and and it's a great tool. So that way I've I've got something I can I can get started with it, share it with Cindy. She can add what she needs to with it. So it really is something that helps a lot, you guys. The other feature that I wanted to show you is you have folders available on um, the free version, but not nearly as many. Literally, you have unlimited number of folders with the paid version, okay? So you can see here, I've got Cindy Bishop Worldwide Images. I have an organization with uh, the church that I belong to where I've done some design work for them uh, called Celebrate Recovery. I've got one called Create More Business. This is another agency where I've been helping him with some of his design work. I've got some of my own personal stuff. To so, because I've done birthday cards, I've done announcements, done different things like that, that uh, I've done Facebook posts that I've designed here, you guys. So this is a client, Dixon Law Group. So anyway, these are clients and then there's some of my own stuff, but this is a place for me to take those images that I've created and have a place where I can store them, okay? so. Um, all right, so Susan's asking, is this available in the free version? Susan, I didn't catch that question soon enough, and maybe I need a little more clarification on that. Um, and if you wanna unmute yourself real quick, is this available in the free, oh, the tutorial. Yes, absolutely it is, yes. The design school is available in the, the free version, so, okay. So let's move on, you guys. So what I wanted to do then, um, 
is show you just real quickly some of the other things that you can do with this. All right. I want to want to, to let's go ahead and create a design. I'm going to get out of here for a second. And what I want to do is show you, for instance, if you're doing an Instagram post. So what this does is this automatically gives you the exact size for an Instagram post. So let's kind of walk through some of the things that you can do with this. This gives you, the first thing that this does is this gives you tons and tons of templates on the left-hand side there that you can use at a, as a starting point. So this way you can kind of say, okay, that, that's something that I feel comfortable with. I like the way that looks, and this is kind of the way that I want to go with my post. Let's use this one, okay? Got a nice image, has a quote in there. Make it real simple, okay? So here's some of the things that you can do with this, you guys. Number one is you can change that image. So um, this is gonna be spring post. So uh, anyway, so you can you, you see real quickly what I can do there though is I can change the, um, the text. The other thing is, is up here, kind of follow me as I go with this. And again, you guys can review this. You can come back in and take a look at this. This then takes you to the different fonts, okay? So like I said, one of the other things that is available on the, the paid version is, and you can see the little, little crowns that are on there. Those are only available in the pro version, okay? The paid version. So the free one has, but the free one has all the ones that don't have the crowns. So you can see there's still tons and tons and tons of them. And I'm, and as you guys can see, I mean, I'm still in A as far as the description of these fonts. There are so many different types of fonts in here. It's just, it's, it's ridiculous. More than you need, <laughs> so, <laughs> quite honestly. But what you can see though is real quickly, I can change the font, okay? I can change the size of the font. Um, I can change the color of the font. If you guys are following me along the top here, okay? That literally when I call, it shows the color on the bottom so I can change the color to whatever I, I may want to, okay? Um, and there are tons and tons and tons of colors in here, you guys. One of the things that's nice about this is you can actually create your own palettes, your own color palettes for your businesses. So for instance, this is one of my clients, Metropolitan Restaurant Brokers. Those are the, the, the colors associate, or if you will, his color palette that I use for designing his stuff. Dixon Law Group, that's the color palette that I use for their stuff. So that way it's gonna remain consistent. And I would tell you folks, is, is if this is something you haven't necessarily taken the time to do, I would absolutely take an opportunity to make sure that you guys have, as part of your branding, that you get your own color palette, okay? It's a really, really powerful way to keep things consistent. So when you're putting anything up, whether it's social media, on your website, you know, um, printed stuff, all of it is going to be, um, you're going to be able to have a, a color palette. Yes, and Cindy, the, the color palette is, or Susan, the color palette is available on um creating a color palette is available on the, the paid version or on the free version. So let me move this thing out of the way here real quickly, you guys, sorry. Okay, so um, the next thing is you can take that and you can bold it, you can italicize it, you can underline it. So all the features that you would have like on Word are still available. And it also gives you here the alignment of it. So you can, you know, you can play with the alignment of wherever you want it to be. The other thing you can do is you can uppercase, you can change whether it's upper or lowercase, okay? Um, you can put, make it a bulleted item, or it also has, um, you can, you know, with, with numbers, you know, so you've distinguished those things. The, uh, the last one that's kind of a neat tool, you guys, is, is, and I will use this from time to time as well, is you can mess with the line height. So this, that, you can't see where that changes anything, but the letter, you can make it so that you can adjust it as you might need to for any any way that you want that to look, okay? Uh, and I think you saw what I was doing there. Um, now, let's go back to this for the pictures. So for instance, if you wanted to put a different picture in, like I said, I wanted to put something in for spring. I'm gonna show you a couple different places where you can find pictures on here, you guys. Um, I will tell you, by the way, that Canva has thousands, probably tens of thousands, maybe millions. There's a lot of pictures in there, you guys. So uh, the, we're not gonna go into all that. I mean, 
just to let you know, there is lots and lots of them. The other thing that's kind of nice, you guys, is there are a couple of sites that I used to go to. One of them is called Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S. Let me go ahead and type it in the, the that in here, you guys. Um, that I used to use for free images. And I actually still do. Pexels and Pixabay are two. Uh, oh, sorry, guys. Here, hold on a sec here. I need to move this. I couldn't see that. There we go. Pexels and Pixabay. All right. Those are two different sites that I've used for getting free images. And I would take them and download them up here or upload them onto my Canva account. The, here's what's kind of nice, you guys, is recently Canva bought both Pexels, as you can see, and Pixabay, my two favorite free sites. So I can go there and whether I'm searching on um, Canva's photographs or I'm searching on, I want to look specifically at Pexels, for instance, if I'm looking for, and I, you can see here, what I'm going to put in there is I've just put in the word spring. So this is a spring post. So you can see there's, this is, and this is all the stuff that's available on um, Pexels. Okay. Now, let me show you what you can do with those images then, is you can take those images and that the size is going to make it different, but you can see where you literally just take that image and drag it right in there. Now, if you don't like where that, the, the part of that picture that, that it grabbed, you can move it around. So let's say we want to get the more of the lady walking through the flowers. Well, there we go. We just kind of take the picture, move it over. Uh, hopefully everybody saw the way I did that. Okay. Now, all of a sudden, it changes it. I have a really cool looking spring post up there with this lady walking through the tulips, okay? So that's how you can do it. Um, let's go back to this real quickly then, but this is this will show you all of the, the, the stuff that's available that's on Canva as well. Now, one of the things that I wanted to point out to you that's important to recognize, you guys, is you can see there when I, when I hover over an image, the bottom it says free, or this one has the little dollar sign, okay? There are paid images in there, all right? Um, and they're a dollar. <laughs> I mean, even if you have to pay for the images in here, you guys, they are so ridiculously inexpensive. It's just phenomenal. I love this thing. I really do. You can tell. But anyway, the point is, um, you can go online and you can go to, and I have accounts with some paid places, um, you know, Shutterstock and 123RF, which is actually a pretty good one and, and relatively inexpensive. I like cheap, you guys. But the bottom line is, is you can pay five to as much as $25 for an image. In, in Canva, all the images are a dollar. That's <laughs> so cool. So anyway, um, so that's kind of how this whole thing works as far as how, how you can plug in different um, pictures and stuff. Now, the other thing that you have available, you guys, is you have what's called elements. Okay. So you have grids, you have shapes, you have frames, and you can see as we go through here, there's stickers, there's charts, there's gradients. Um, with color things, lines, different types of lines, illustrations, icons. You know, I mean, it's so amazing that you can take any of these things. Now, for instance, if I wanted to just, and this this post is going to look really stupid, but I, just because I wanted you guys to see all these different tools. So if I grab this icon of this person, okay, um, so I can take that, I can dra grab that icon, drag it in there. Now, the thing that you notice as I have my if I, as I have this image framed, okay? Now that frame doesn't stay, it goes away once I click off there. But when I have it framed like that, look up at the top and you can see, um, this is where I would want, if I wanted to change the color to make it more of a spring looking color, there we go. All, all of a sudden I got a whole do, different kind of a color image in there. So um, you can do it that quickly, you guys. The other thing, um, that you can do with this stuff. And I'm going to grab this real quickly. For instance, with the, with the image itself. Okay. Um, we're going to, I want to, I want to show you a couple of the other tools that are available on here. For instance, in effects, you can take the effects. Um, you can actually, they do a background remover here, which is, which is awesome. I'm, I've got another tool I will show you guys here in a second. You can liquefy it. Okay. So, um, yeah, we're not going to mess with that one right now, you guys. Uh, that one gets into some pretty crazy stuff. But anyway, um, filters. You can make this. You can change the filtering of it. 
with different types of, um, you know, treatments of the way the colors are in there. So, uh, and you can, how much you want to apply that, the intensity of it is really intense or not very much at all. Okay, so you can make those kind of adjustments. This one gets into things like, you know, you can adjust the brightness, right? You can adjust the contrast. Okay, you can make all these adjustments in here. Saturation and saturation, so you guys know, is basically that is so intensive where it takes all the colors and just really blows them up. Okay, now if I go down to the other end, it becomes black and white. Okay, so you can do all of those types of things in there. You can do the, the tints, different colors and stuff. You can blur the image, okay, if you want to. So those are, again, these are just some of the tools that you can apply in here that, that are really cool with how you, how you adjust that image. I'm, I'm looking here, after using other image sites, canvases are always just a dollar to make. Okay, good, so, and just good information, City. thank you. Um, and again, you saw the way I use the crop. You know, I can move this thing around. I can do whatever I need to as far as crop. When you're, when you're doing a crop though, you wanna make sure you click done, okay? That's just a quick little thing. The other part that I wanna show you is you can also flip the image. You can flip it horizontally, for instance, okay? If that's what's necessary for that. You can flip it vertically, which, you know, you don't necessarily do it with this one. But, um, but those are some of the other tools that you can, you can have with this, you guys. Now, let's go ahead and go over to the, the right-hand part is you can also do things like duplicate that. So now all of a sudden I've taken that image and I want, if I wanted to put it, take that specific image and put it someplace else, I can, you know? Uh, if I wanted to take this icon and just duplicate it, make two of them, I can do that real quick and simple, okay? Um, oh, so let's go down here again. Now position, here's what that means, you guys, is if you have something, um, like for instance, if I wanted to take this icon, which is now, you can see the way I've got it captured there. If I wanted to move that backward, uh, oh no, it doesn't show it because it's not gonna, um, it's not hiding it, but uh, let's see if I can do it with this one. Oh, not, there we go. Anyway, what you can do, you guys, is if you're layering something, I know, here we go, I'll put it up here. That way you can see where I need to move it backward. So, but I can move those images around and change the position of how they get layered on something, okay? The other thing that I can do is I can mess with the transparency of it. So if I wanted to mess with the transparency of this, make it a little bit lighter, you know, um, that type of thing. So you, you can do that as well, you guys. So it's, that's, you know, that, and that's what that particular one is there. So that, those, those are the different tools that are available on there, okay? How are we doing time? We're doing okay, you guys. All right. So I've kind of walked you through and I've done this relatively quickly, but I did want to show you, let's go ahead and walk through some of these other ones real quickly, you guys. Um, text, okay, this is real simple. You can take templates that you can load in there, okay? Um, or you can, if you wanted to just add, like it has here, just any specific text. Okay, I can add that as well. So again, you can see the, the combinations of them, those templates down here, and this up here just is adding text to a page. So you can add, if I wanted to add one line of text in there, then I can go up here again and change the font however I need to. And it's always gonna show you whatever was the last one that you used, okay? So, uh, or the last couple ones that you've used. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and move on with this. Um, music, that's one that's only available on the uh, paid version, okay? Videos, background, let's see where, I'll uh, show you what background is, okay? Background is literally what it does, is it's gonna, it's gonna add a background. So you can take this thing now. You can see what it did, is it, it created a whole different background image for this, okay? Um, you can do that, and it has different types of designs as well. You could, if you wanted to put a landscape in there, you could. Um, you can see all those patterns, gradients, abstract, you know, so it's got lots of different ways that you can change these, the textures and the background part of this thing, okay? So that's what the backgrounds are. Now, uploads is one, I use this one a ton, you guys. Literally what the uploads is, is this is all of the artwork that I use specifically to create images that I've had to create. So you can see here that this thing will, and it's, this is, there's no limit to how much stuff you can upload on your account, you guys. That's one thing I can tell you, even with the free one, 
Okay, so, um, but this is where you upload images that you want to use specifically, okay? So like when I'm designing something, if I have something that I want to use, and you'll, you saw the, the Milton Glaser thing that I had there earlier, this was an uploaded image of Milton Glaser where I did a search on Google for that, okay? So that's basically what the tools are. Now, um, I think we've pretty much beat this thing up pretty good. Show them how to download. Oh, Cindy, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. Good catch. So um, I'm going to take this thing out of there real quickly. Uh, oh, here's the thing. Um, now, when I get ready to download this, you guys, this is where you do it. Now, there's two different sides to this, and we'll show you what that does here in a second. Okay, so if I want to download this, the first one it does is it gives a PNG. This is what I was talking about earlier. A PNG is the, the highest quality image that you can download. Um, now, um, here's the thing is the transparent background is an option that's not available on the, the free version. Okay, but you can compress this to a lower quality. Okay, which still is it can be helpful you guys and it's and it's important to do that from time to time because of the fact that um, the, the higher the quality of the image if you the, the, it's going to show up better, but here's the thing is remember the, the highest quality images you want to be able to take those things and um, th those high quality images, you want to use those for printed stuff. Okay, the highest quality images you want to use for print. You want to lower the quality of the image sometimes if you're using things for the internet. Um, I'd say on social media it's okay, but for instance on your own website, you want to you want to sometimes compress those files. Here's a reason why. You want the images to be clear on your website, but at the same time, if they're real if they're high quality, that means they're there's they're a much larger size. And the larger the size, the, the longer it takes to load on on the internet. Okay. So that's something just to keep in mind. All right. So anyway. Um, you have PNG, you can make it a JPEG, which is something most of you are probably familiar with as well. Uh, PDF standard, that would be something that you would use for sending through an email. PDF print is something where, and honestly, if I wanted to print this image, that's going to give me the highest quality is PDF print. So it's going to be a huge size too. There's some of these PDF print things that if you get a couple of pages of it, 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 you may not even be able to send it in an email because it's going to be gigabytes sometimes. So um, those are some of the things that you can do. But you can also, as you can see here, load this as, an, as a, a video or as an animation. Okay. Now the animation, you can see there, that's one of those things that's only available through the, um, through the paid version with a little crown on there. Okay. So those are some of the things that you, the way that you would download it. So the, what I would do then, for instance, I'll take this thing, create a JPEG and I'm going to download this. All right. So it's preparing the design. It's getting ready to download it. And what it's going to do is it's automatically going to go into what's most of you guys have this on your computer. It's called the download file. Okay. So you can see real quickly, this is my download file. Now, from there, and now I'm in File Explorer, and so then you can take this thing and put it whatever folder you need to put it into, okay? But um, that's literally how you do this. So you can download that, you have it now available, and th then you can do whatever you need to with it. Like I said, normally, you know, for a lot of my clients, I'm gonna take that image and put it into the folder that I've created um, on their Dropbox. Um, where it's, it's a place where I store everything, okay? So that is just that quick tutorial, you guys. And again, I need to, I wanna move on with this because I don't wanna make this too long, but hopefully this has given you guys some good information. Uh, is this helping, by the way, you guys? I wanted to get some quick, you know, heads up with this. Um, I don't wanna make it confusing, I wanna make it helpful. All right. So I'm gonna change the sharing of my screen, all right? Give a new share and gonna go to here, screen one. Okay, so you guys are back over here. How do you save this? Oh, Cindy, you asked the question, how do you save this? Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to that, you guys. Um, let's switch the share, new share, go back here. 
Sorry, guys. All right. You can, you can see the screen with Canva, right? Not the Canva tutorial, but Canva, right? Okay, so let me go ahead and walk through this, you guys. So how do I save this? So I'll take this post, and this is, you know, if I click on it down at the bottom, it's going to open it, all right? But um, there, if I need to edit it in, you know, the photograph editor, I can't. But here's what I do, is I just take these things. Normally what I do is I just drag and drop them, okay? So um, I'm going to, um, this is my Instagram Spring post, okay? So that's just the name that I've given this particular thing. And then I would take this thing, and it's real simple to save it, you guys. So I just take this and I drag it into whichever folder I would want it. So for instance, uh, let's go ahead and put it in my personal one. All right, oh, sorry. Let's go back. Back to downloads, here we go. So I'm just gonna take this thing and drag it right into my personal account, okay? So there we go. So that's how that works. Um, now, I'm going to do a new share again, you guys. going to go back over. Let's go ahead and walk through this then. Um, here's some of the other tools that I wanted to show you guys. Um, sorry, here we go. Um, one of them is an image that I use called HTML color codes. Okay, hopefully you guys are familiar with the term um, maybe, you, maybe you're not. Let's go ahead and, and assume that you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, HTML color codes is what they call a hex color, H-E-X. All right. Hex colors are um, where it's taking a color and making it a six-digit code. Okay. Uh, the, and it's a combination, and it's, and it's, I shouldn't say digits, it's characters. So it could be numbers and it, or it could be letters, okay? And normally it's a combination of both of those, but there's six digit codes that are used to signify a specific color. Um, being real estate agents, you understand the concept, for instance, like the way they would do it with paint. When someone buys paint, they have a code that they're able to put. So whether you're buying it from Sherwin-Williams or you're going over to Lowe's or doesn't make any difference, Benjamin Moore, doesn't make any difference, you're gonna be able to give them that code and they're gonna be able to duplicate that exact color no matter where they're, they're mixing that paint, okay? So this is the same thing on the internet, you guys, is those codes basically are able to take colors that are gonna be, so that they're gonna be exactly the same. Um, that is what this HTML color code is. So for instance, if I've got an image that I've created that I'm using, and I'm gonna grab this car right here. And uh, for instance, what I would do, if I wanted to get that exact color of that car, what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna eliminate that just for a moment, you guys, so that I can go to the internet and show you what I'm talking about. So I would go to, this, this is the space, HTML color codes, okay? So I'm able to then to take a file and I'm going to switch over here again, you guys. Switch the share. New share. Go to screen two. Share that. All right. So this is what this is, color codes. So I'm going to upload a file. I want to take that orange colored car and I want to drop it in here. Okay. So I'm able to pick any spot on that car and create an image or whatever color I'm using in Canva, for instance, that I want to take and duplicate that same color so that it matches, I can do that. So here's how that would work. Then I've got, there you see the color code down here. That's the six digit code that signifies that particular exact color of orange. And you can see here, wherever I would go to that image and change where I'm at, it's going to pick up, you know, this, this color code image is basically going to help me create something that's I'm able to grab that image uh, and have it show up. Okay, so I see a chat here. Love this. Good. Awesome. Thank you, Susan. Yeah, this is this is great stuff, you guys. So that's one of them is HTML color codes. The other one is a tool called remove the background. Okay, so there are times where you want to take an image, for instance, and you want to a, a picture, you know, a, a portrait, I should say, and you want to be able to remove the background. That's exactly what this is able to do. So you have a picture that you've taken of yourself on the beach, for instance, you know, 
um, that kind of thing, but you don't necessarily want the beach background. You want to just use the, the, that as a portrait. You can do that. Now, let me, let me show you. This is kind of cool. So we're going to go ahead. This is called Remove Image Background. The, the URL you can see is real easy. It's remove.bg. Okay. So what I can do is I can upload an image now. So I'm going to go ahead and take this really cool fast car that I found and show you. There's the picture and there. Now, all of a sudden, I have this image, and I can take this thing and put it wherever I want. So I've just downloaded this, this image, and I can take that guy. And for instance, um, I'll show you what I can do with it. Let's go back to my spring post. I can upload an image, and here it is. Here's my fast car, and I'm uploading that dude. A little bar, that little color bar down there shows you that it's still loading. Okay, so now it's able to use. I take that baby and I can drop that image in there and I can move it around. I can make it look like it's going downhill, make it look like it's going uphill. I can take it and enlarge it, you know, um, whatever I want to do. But literally, you can see the way this is. So the background is removed already. So it's a PNG file, background is removed. Got some really cool stuff with it, you guys. So that, like I said, you can do that with pictures as well. So um, any one of these you can do. All right, that is one of the other tools. Uh, the other one that I wanted to introduce you guys to, as you can see here, is one called Lunapic. And Lunapic is one where, and I just want to show you real quickly with, without going into a lot of details, because we could spend a whole another hour on this and I don't want to do that. But you can see that in Lunapic, that, that there's all kinds of stuff. So you can take, you can, uh, upload images. Um, you can take them from Dropbox, wherever, Google Photos, wherever. Uh, then this shows you some of the editing things that you can do with them. Make adjustments. You can draw. You know, you can put borders. You can put filters on there. For instance, and we'll just go ahead and take this car again just for grins and giggles and show you some of the kinds of things that you can do with this stuff. You can then take this and put effects uh, like Andy Warhol. You can take this and make this like an Andy Warhol thing. Isn't that cool, okay? Um, or you can do things like you can um, turn it, make it look like it's a pencil sketch, okay? There's some really cool stuff that you can do with Lunapic. Um, some of the effects, some of the filters. Um, I mean, some of this looks really crazy, but you can get, you get the idea. Real quickly, you can change an image and add all kinds of neat stuff. Oh, oh Susan says, Lunapic. It's free, absolutely. Isn't that wonderful? I love the free stuff, you guys. So, <laughs> so um, but anyway, these are some of the tools that I use, you guys, and there's some really, really cool ones. Um, the last thing that I did want to mention is talk about sites for pictures and video clips, okay? Um, there are times where, for instance, you may want to use short little video clips to include in uh, stuff that you're creating. So, uh, again, I put those up earlier, you guys. Pixabay. I'll put it in again. Pixabay. Those are two of the best ones. Um, the other thing, too, is for paid ones, you guys, uh, I would be careful with paid video clips because they can get really expensive. Uh, but 123RF is one that I have an account with that is, those, their, their images are relatively inexpensive and they also have video as well. You can take short little video clips, okay? Um, the one thing that I need to make sure that you guys understand those, don't use Google Images. You know, I, I made that mistake early on and I realized that there's a lot of times you can get yourself into some big trouble. I've avoided that, thank goodness. I've never been sued for using an image off of Google, but you can, you can quickly get into trouble using Google Images. And it's a great place because they got great store, stuff in there, you guys, but don't, don't necessarily, I would use Google Images as a way to maybe define the way that I'm gonna look for something when I get on Canva or Pexels or Pixabay, those places where I know that there's there's not, I don't have to worry about, you know, uh, copyright infringement or any of that kind of stuff that could get me into the legal trouble for using an image. Um, so uh, let's see here, let's move on guys. Um, now, let me go ahead and switch my screen share real quickly here. We're coming to the very end of this, you guys. So I wanna make sure that we're able to um, give you some of the other tools that I use. Um, and this is by far the most powerful tool on the internet, you guys, is google.com. 
let me tell you the reason why. Every single one of these things that I've shown you, Lunapic, HTML color codes, remove the background, Canva, all of those things. And, and there's tons of other tools that I've been able to find you guys. And guess what? They, every single one of those started with me doing a search on Google. How do I do this? Where do I find free images? Best places for free video clips. Best free, and you know, notice I always put free in there. Best free graphic design software. So, but anyway, so Google is your friend. Google is the most powerful graphic design tool on the internet because it helps you find that stuff, you guys. That's literally what, what the, the part of the message is with this, okay? The other and the second most powerful tool on the internet is YouTube.com. It absolutely is, guys. There's no doubt about it. So if you want to learn how to do something, um, you know, and there's some great design uh, things to show you how to use Canva that are on that design school that I showed you guys. But there's, I've also found some really good tutorials just going on to YouTube saying, you know, how do I use Canva to fill in the blank? Okay. So, um, you know, the, and, and whether it's Canva or whatever it is, you guys, it's amazing the stuff that you can find. And I think most of you probably gotten in the habit of doing that anyway, but it's, it's a good thing to remember. YouTube is a powerful, powerful tool to use for um, these things. And, I, and I've learned a lot as I've grown, grown my business and grown what I've been able to do, my knowledge base um, from YouTube. So here's a great quote too. From Paula Shear, she's another graphic design artist that I have a lot of respect for. It's through mistakes that you actually can grow. You have to get bad in order to get good, and that is so true, you guys. I, you know, the any any stuff that you've seen of mine that you like is basically because I've made a tons of mistakes getting it to that point. So, thank you for attending to attending today's session, you guys. I am your internet marketing guy. There's my contact information. By the way, one of the things that we are going to do is I am going to create a um, uh, something where through Cindy, if you want to, con you know, consult with me about this particular topic, you guys, you will have the opportunity to do that. So, uh, reach out to Cindy in an email, by phone, or just go to Cindy Bishop Training. And there's going to be some more information about how to utilize some of these graphic design tools and and get a little more specific about something maybe that you're struggling with or that you're working on specifically that maybe we can go online together and figure that thing out together, you know, just one-on-one -on -one type such a, um, session. So with that, Cindy, let me go ahead and make sure you are unmuted. If you would unmute yourself, I would appreciate that. And I am. I was just sending a little thing saying thanks. Good. Okay, good. So and I can't type. There we go. Yeah, well, that's it. I think that if anybody has any questions, they should ask them. They can always reach us, of course, anytime. Um, and that um, those coaching sessions and consulting sessions with Dave will be up and visible. They're there. I just don't have them linked to be visible right now um, on that Cindy Bishop training WordPress site. But they will be in a couple of days. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you being here. All right. Take care. Thanks. All right. Bye-bye.